Clink. That feels so close to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, peeps? I'm Tom from Dark Link Designs. This is my co-host Kayla from Let's Geek Out, and we have a special guest this week. Hello. JJ from JJ Lozy Cosplay Photography and JJ Lozy Photography. Yes. So L O S I E R. Um, she's super active in the cosplay photography on Instagram. Uh, her tag is just at JJ Lozier. Uh, and you can find her on Facebook. Uh, website is jjlozier.com. Yep. Keeping it easy. Super simple. <laughs> so this week is kind of a prep for you and for us and for JJ and any other cosplay enthusiasts or cosplay photographers because it's expo season. Yay! So, uh, the one local to us, we're based out of Kitchener, Ontario, Canada, uh, is Fan Expo in Toronto. I'm so, so excited, I don't even know. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm going up on the Saturday, you're going as well. Are you going to Fan Expo? No, I'm shooting wedding. Uh, <laughs> so she also <laughs> does wedding. We were, uh, we were kind of joking, uh, we were joking a little bit earlier about uh, cosplay weddings. So if oh. you do have one, do right. it up and <laughs> tell us, because I would love to see that. I oh actually, God, yeah, yes. it's, it would be super fun. It would be Pretty epic. I mean, I've seen some like YouTube videos of people's cosplay weddings, yep. but I was just like, I want to do that. I, I want to do that with my life. My well, so I had a Legend of Zelda and Sailor Moon themed yes. wedding. Uh, she was actually at it as well. Um, I wanted, like me personally, I wanted to build the magic armor from Twilight Princess. Yes. Uh, from Legend of Zelda. Uh, Amanda said no to that. So <laughs> I was, I was sad. I was just like, man, that would be awesome. Um, but we had uh, uh, like a, a whole bunch of different. Like yeah. we had like our wedding cake knife was the master sword and I built a no, pedestal of time for it and it was awesome. Yeah. But that's the amount other. of details in your wedding was insane. It, it, yeah, and we even had to cut some stuff just because yeah, I was yeah. just like I don't have time to make that. Yeah. Um, and I, but for, I forget who I saw, but there's this uh, person that I follow in a cosplay uh, community where mm -hmm. uh, they kind of post the pictures, they get feedback and stuff like that. Yep. And uh, this guy had been featured in so many magazines and so many websites about his cosplay wedding yep and i'll have to find it and send it to you yeah, do I it. Please. feature it because the pictures i just saw one and i was like yeah some are like <laughs> the jaw some yeah. are jaw dropping yeah. just like the amount of detail yeah. like honestly I, most of them they take about a year and a half oh, to plan even oh, more than yeah a lot of the time so. more than that and like you're built like especially if you're like a like a builder like armor building and stuff like yeah. that or just like prop building and stuff you, that takes a lot of hours. And Could a you lot imagine of work. me wearing the bat suit at my wedding? I think that'd be sweet. I <laughs> you think would it'd see be awesome. my face. You just see this part right here. <laughs> you may now kiss Batwoman. Batwoman. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, on to the drinks, because that's why we're all here. Um, so, today. It's free for all. Uh, He's it's, an alcoholic. Yeah, it, I'm not an alcoholic. <laughs> I'm making two drinks, okay? <laughs> Let's just add all that to there. <laughs> I'm going to get shit-faced, apparently. Uh, so, yeah, it's kind of a free-for-all. Normally, we have themed drinks, but uh, we weren't quite sure how to do, like, a photo... I, I actually looked for a while about, like, photography-inspired geek drinks, and no. I was just, like, all I got oh, were just, like, all I, just, all I got were just, like, pictures and stuff, and I was just like, nah, it's just, <laughs> they're just, like, free-for-all. Yeah. Uh, so today, um, me, I'm going to be doing a uh, drink... I've crafted called Loki's Influence. I love Loki. <laughs> uh, so it's uh, three ounces of whiskey. Uh, it's six ounces of ginger ale. Uh, one ounce ish of uh, well, and more more like more like a, like a tablespoon ish of uh, uh, like a vodka bar lime mix. Okay. That my wife's uh, grandma actually brings up from Texas. Oh wow! So I don't know if it's available in Canada, but I'll let you know how it is. Uh, and then uh, 0.5 ounce of lemon juice and ice. Uh, I'm gonna go get ice in a minute, so I'll get you to mix your drink first. Okay. But after you drink, uh, mix your drink. Uh, I'm going to make one for JJ uh, called the uh, Shirley Templar, uh, kind of Assassin's Creed. Uh, it's going to be, uh, it's gonna be uh, ginger ale, uh, it's going to be Sprite, uh, one and a half ounces of vodka. Uh, I, it was originally going to be gin, but I ran out of gin. So, I do love my um, vodka anyways. So. Perfect. <laughs> to be honest. goes for any drink, because every drink I've ever had it has vodka in it, yeah. so I mean. But gin's so smooth. It I is. love gin. 
Uh, and then after that, uh, there's an ounce and a half of grenadine and a cherry. A cherry. A cherry on top. So that's what I'm going to be mixing. What are you drinking? Okay, so obviously nobody really knows much about me because I'm usually kind of quietish on these shows. Um, Wait but... till you meet her in real life. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a huge, huge Lord of the Rings fan, like ginormous. So I'm doing one called Gandalf's Grog um, because Gandalf is badass. Yep. Okay, yes. either if he's white or dark, it doesn't matter. And so. Mine is literally um, a cup of unsweetened black iced tea. You can mix anything you want. Actually, I just love tea. You could also make your own tea if you didn't want to buy it. Exactly. I like cheaper options. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then three ounces of rum. I'm using Sar S Sailor. Yeah. Sailor, Sailor Deer. <laughs> I was going to say Sailor Moon. <laughs> Sailor Moon's rum. Um, and then a tablespoon of brown sugar. And then a lovely little orange for... The decoration. The little garnish. The little garnish. You know, I was actually going to, uh, I was going to do, like, two spots on the rim of, like, gold sugar or, like, yellow sugar, and then I was just like, <laughs> I forgot to get some, and I was just like, damn the it. Horns. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> for the, for the Loki horns, because yeah. I was just like, that'd be, that'd be, it, it, would, it would just be, like, the cherry on top. <laughs> All right. Ah, you're hilarious. So, <laughs> So I'm gonna go get ice if you wanna start mixing up. All right, good. Go at it. So here we go. Uh, this time I'm going light on the alcohol yet again because you know after the very first episode it's the Hulk scene and I, I I'm never gonna let that go. So. I asked her how she did after that and apparently her friend watched her wobble all the way to their destination. <laughs> it was it was <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Shut up, man. Oh look, first still. But it's not on you. You filled already? <laughs> she did. You're making it laugh. Oh my god, that's like almost a <laughs> half a glass. Going light, right? Okay. And then... I need a stirry stick. Uh, yep. I'll get you one. Brown sugar. Mm-mm-mm. And like the greatest iced tea you'll ever have. Next to Pe Gold Peak. Or brewing your own, like... You said... Sturry sticky thingy. Sturry sticky. As you like to call it. A sturry sticky thingy. Sticky stir? Oh, look at the A sticky stir. That could be interpreted a couple of times. I know. <laughs> okay, so this brown sugar is taking a while to kind of do this little thing here. Do you think actually it may not be if so if you if you are making like your own tea, do yeah. you think you could put the brown sugar in that? Let it cool. When you brew it. Yeah, like when you brew it, yeah. and then uh, and then put it in. That it that wouldn't be too bad. How is it? Watery. Because of the tea. No, I, I don't know. Like this tea has like no flavor to it at all. Yeah, but tea is mainly water. But it's. If is there anything that you would? I add? can taste this for sure. So. Is it bad? No, I think it could it could use um. Could use a bit more. Bit more of a kick. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's why, because there was originally supposed to be a cinnamon stick inside. But fireball whiskey. That'll do it. Fire, yeah, do a shot of fireball in Oh, there. I can't do cinnamon. It makes me gag so bad. That's why in high school, that whole cinnamon challenge. I was just like, no cinnamon dude, challenge. That was, I was the not, stupidest thing ever. I was the only ever. one not being able to do so it. So dumb. All right, go so ahead. So dumb. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm going to mix yours first. Okay. Ladies first. Chivalry is not dead. <laughs> so I'm going to or make... Just like, <laughs> Hey, I'm cool with it. So I'm going to do my uh, do the alcohol first. So I'm going to get three ounces of whiskey. Um, are you in your I'm, or I'm doing mine. <laughs> I'm doing mine. So I'm gonna put a shot and a half. There you sorry, go. Sorry, an ounce and a half of <laughs> vodka. Where's my measuring thing? There we are. I know, that's why I love this thing. Sorry, I'm not sure if they heard that. I said it's like a chalice. <laughs> I do have a couple chalices upstairs that I got from Scotland when I went there uh, with my high school band. Nice. It was amazing. Scotland, I, oh, I need to go. I love it. You should. It's We got to play in uh, like a bunch of Scottish castles. And we got to play uh, at the English, like uh, right in front of the English Tower and everything nice. like that too. Nice. It was fantastic. The only, oh, like, that's it was, what I missed. Oh, lemon juice. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute! I'm supposed to have this in my drink. That probably might make a difference here. Just, just a little bit. So while you're doing that, 
Uh, I've got my shot and a half of vodka. I'm putting a shot and a half, or an ounce and a half, I guess. I always think of it as shots for an ounce. Of uh, grenadine. Look at my orange go. <laughs> oh, it's I so love bad. that color. I know. I love grenadine. I know. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, and then. Isn't that what was in my frog guts last time? Frog guts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, at the watchtower? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Real frog guts. Yeah. I got the one that I didn't want, and it's... That was so funny. I still, I, I honestly, I can't believe that I rolled a critical hit on my first roll. Because when we were practicing, I was like, oh, I got like a 2, or I got like a 13. No, that was later in the episode. Okay. What? I want to make sure that it's going to... Yeah, we got to do the... 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 Uh, hey, I told you before, I uh, like cheap things. I didn't want to cheap out on the ginger ale because, like, store-brand store brand ginger ale... It's not Canada it's, Dry. It's not Canada Dry. Canada Dry ginger ale, sorry people from the States, is the best ginger ale in the world. <laughs> it, uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't even say that. There, I forget there's this one kind that is a little there's bit better. There's burners, and that's I love the, Yeah, burners. that's the one. That's the one. Burners, but it's like a stronger ginger taste, and it's so good, though. And there's a little slice on the bottom, so it's gonna like infuse. There we go. That looks really tasty. Excellent. There you go. Try her out. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna mix mine. So for mine, now it's the whiskey. Is it good? Yeah. What do you think? Probably use another couple shots of vodka. <laughs> really? Do you, do you it's like an it? ounce and a half. But I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's true. I, right? For, like, it's yeah. that much. Mm. Throw in another ounce and a half. <laughs> Jeez, you alco. No. And face. Mm, oh, if there's I'm pop in there. Mm. Oh, you will. Yeah, that's true. If not, I can take some I have out. to say, though, this is way better than help, Steven. Yeah, you set the bar really low <laughs> in the first episode. Beautiful. See? Nice. Now stir that baby up. Yep, mix that up. Got <laughs> the ice and the cherry in the way. <laughs> Can you guys tie a uh, cherry stem? Like, I've never actually not? tried. No? Like with your tongue? Yeah. yeah. Oh hell no. No. And I and I'm a gay woman, okay? I can't even do that. <laughs> I can't either, so. It's it's not something I'm. I'm. If you can, leave a comment below because I'm very interested in how I'm you in. do that. Yeah, like. I swear to God, in movies and films, it's all fake. Well, well the, that fast is. <laughs> Yeah. Well, also, the funniest one, uh, did you guys watch uh, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt? Yes! Okay, so... It's so bad! It's... Oh, I love it. Ellie Camper is hilarious. She's so great. It's one of those I can't stop watching it, but it's there. I, I love it. I think it's I think it's great. Uh, lemon juice next. Uh, but on the... But in there... Uh, I know, I will. I want to mix that in last. Uh, in there, in one of the episodes, uh, one of the main characters, Jacqueline, uh, she's like out on a balcony and she she basically like always carries a uh, a tied cherry stem in her cheek just in case she'll like need it at a party yeah, or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, okay. Like, so. oh, whatever. Yeah. Have you ever tried tying a knot with one hand? Like just like you would with your tongue? Uh I have, but I've used my mouth. I so, like, successfully you're a cheating whore. <laughs> <laughs> I've successfully Amen. done it. And the entire really? time I was doing it, I was like, oh, "How am I doing do this? It? I have magic hands." Magic. No, it's like you have to hold one and and kind of work your way around, and it. I don't know. Anyways, continue with your drink here. Really? Uh, yeah. So I had my three ounces of whiskey. I use Crown Royal whiskey because it's great. Uh, I had an. I think an, I think I put too much lime juice, but that's okay. Lemon juice. Uh, I have an ounce of lemon juice, and then uh, the tablespoon-ish of like bar lime, and then six I'm ounces. I'm actually measure out as ginger ale, so I'm just topping it off. Yeah, well, I was gonna I wanna, say. I want to test it. It's gonna wind so, up not fitting. And then no, it will. I have six uh, six ounces of ginger ale. You only have three, and it's almost full. No. I'm doing. I'm doing two at a time. Oh, okay. Doing two and a half at a time. Oh well, that's okay. Gonna say for this one, 
um, if you were to follow this again. I felt a uh, little... Do it in a tumbler. I, I have two that kinds of glasses. Yeah, yeah. I have like this and then the short one. So. That's, that's the tumbler. Okay. Well, see, I didn't. <laughs> so, no, I, I was look, well, I was looking at the that's measurements. What I call them anyways. I was looking at the measurements, and I was just like, I don't know if this is all gonna fit in here. Well, for both of yours, no. But with mine, it's like yeah. But look at yours though. Sprite, well, I guess yeah. Off, I guess right? I, yeah. That's true. So like, if for the one and a half uh, vodka or yep. gin, uh, keeping it in the tumbler would work. <laughs> I love your color the best. Mine does not look. It looks like sand. Doesn't it really look dirty like sand? sand. Kind of. Yeah, I would say. Yeah, it kind of looks like. like kind of looks like swamp water almost. <laughs> well, that's Loki's influence on you. It's a little grainy because I think I probably put too much in. But that's actually really good. All right, now we can try all of each other's two ones. Yep. Pass it down. All right. I love yours. Ooh. Yours is very subtle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Considering it has whiskey in it, and I hate whiskey, that's actually really good. Hers nice. is like amazing. Oh, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I can probably chug mine. Oh, that's sour. Yeah. Yeah, again, that's dangerous. Nope. Dangerous. <laughs> you don't like no, it, eh? Do not drink that if you don't like rum or whiskey. That one's good. And not it has so whiskey. Good. Yes, that's what I mean. But it's no, hers doesn't have rum in it. Or it doesn't have whiskey, rather. It's either or. I don't like rum or whiskey. Okay. When I first started to drink, all I drank was rum and coke. <laughs> so you're kind of. And I had some really bad nights, it. and I remember I was underage at a resort, and they gave me like. So the you're out of the, So you're in a country where drinking was legal. Kind of. Um, we'll they gave go, me the we'll alcohol we'll bag. <laughs> I did not take a sip of alcohol because every time I went to order like a Bahama Mama, yep. all I could smell was Which the rum, and I would just sit there and vomit. Where'd in my you go? Mouth. Dominican, but oh, okay, okay. It's, like that's not the reason why I don't like rum. It's because okay. of being passed out in the middle of a forest, rolling around <laughs> with a stomach ache and hot and wanting to throw up. It's like that meme <laughs> that says uh, like it's like that one that one alcohol that every time you smell it, all you think yeah, is you dead. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and so that's mine. Mine is Sky Vodka, <laughs> oh. and only okay. because when I first took the shot of it, it tore the inside of my throat and then mm. experienced a little bit of my nerves. So for the longest time I couldn't have sweet or sour Aww. or spicy or anything, and I was like, "Water so now, for you." <laughs> and now every time I like, someone's like, "Oh, I'm getting sky vodka." I'm like, "Well, guess who's getting drunk? Not this girl. <laughs> I'll be the DD." <laughs> All right. So because this is about uh, cosplay photography, um, a little bit later on in uh, in the episode, uh, we're we're actually uh, JJ is going to be showing us. Uh, and getting us to do different poses, and uh, and kind of giving us a, a, a bit of advice on, from a photographer perspective, what kind of things you should have prepared in advance, if you're a cosplayer, or if you're, um, if you're just going to be ex kind of expecting to get your picture taken at like a convention and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna we're gonna touch base on that uh, a little bit later, um, but kind of in that theme, what would you say? Uh, from a photographer aspect, what would you say your top three tips or like kind of tricks uh, are for cosplayers? So one of the things, uh, that board that I was talking about earlier where I would post and ask mm. for some critiques, mm -hmm. and it was so funny because I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh my goodness, these pictures are amazing. Like I'm really happy with how they turned out. Yep. And after I read through the feedback, all of my feedback was, the cosplayer has the exact same face in every single one of them. Mm. And so, I didn't even, like, so I, I thought about it. Yeah, yep. so, okay. like, I know this is going to sound ridiculous, but <laughs> literally go in front of a mirror nope. and practice yeah. your face. No, 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 I, I when, yeah. uh, like, because uh, I cosplay as Darklink. Yep. And obviously Darklink designs. Uh, and I did, I did the same thing. Like, you feel ridiculous, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but you It'll it makes yes. a humongous difference Absolutely. because you know where your facial muscles like you yep. kind of you kind of like it's like anything like when you practice something you're going to get better at it Back. you'll kind of be goofy and stumble yeah, through yeah, it yeah. at first but you'll get through it yeah so, so like, that's a that's a really really good tip absolutely yeah. so make sure you go and research those iconic poses and if you don't want uh, because i know sometimes i'm like oh you know i don't want to do what everyone else does go and find True. those secondary poses and try and replicate them in the mirror with your face and okay. like i mean even if uh, it's not a pose if you're fighting 
but you have to so do like a battle is, face yeah this is kind yeah. of going into the second thing um when you're posing don't just do the pose and kind of wait actually pretend like there's something coming at you you're either scared shitless <laughs> or you're like on, ready baby. to go like you know all amped up and supercharged yeah. so like but like if you're just sitting there like okay yeah i'm in this awesome pose that i practiced yep but I'm not convincing enough. Yeah. So you're like, you're not even, your, you're not in the character in the sense, yeah, Exactly. Right? Exactly. Okay. So no, that, like, that's, that's smart, yeah. You want to be the character that yeah. you are portraying, that's all it is. And it's, it's also being in that, so like, if you're swinging your sword, what are you swinging it at? Is there so something kind of, in front of you coming okay. at you? Are you Link and breaking these, um... I'm gonna pot? break the pot. Pot, right? Like, or am I gonna be stabbing <laughs> Ganon in the head? Yeah, yeah. You know, like, like, yeah, so, okay, so kind of envision... What you're your, doing. Your bad, your exactly. scene. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's really, really so cool. So then that will help also tie the facial expression in. As you're doing your facial expression, imagine when you're going to be using them. So it'll kind of come more naturally. Exactly. Okay, smart, smart. Okay, um, what, uh, because that was, that was like a whole bunch. Like, that was like... <laughs> that was a three. Yeah. Yes, yeah. so, uh, do you have any other ones yeah. that you want to share? Yeah. So the other one is, uh, dead hands. So... What do you, what do you mean? Dead hands. Um, if you're photographing and uh, say uh, you have a sword and your pose is to hang it around your back, what are you doing with your other hand? If it's down in front of you, mm -hmm. what's going to happen is Lose focus, right? when, as a audience looking at this picture, they're going to look at your face, try and figure out what's going on. They see, okay, you're posing, but if this hand is just staying limp, it's it'll uninteresting. Kinda, yeah, it'll kind of take it, take it away. It yeah, doesn't okay. show what they're doing. So, like, what... Um, what they're kind of saying is like if you have a pocket, kind of like either okay. the hand is doing something or it's out of focus, out of the way. Yeah, okay. So yep. if you're That's like smart. flexing and doing that, like that just completely changed. Yes. This. Well, actually, it kind of. Uh, so one thing that I came across um, probably actually like uh, about a month and a half ago or so is uh, I, I was just reading up on like different poses and stuff like that. And one of the best ones that I read was in every limb. Try and have it at least slightly bent. Yep. Uh, so yeah. that way, so that way you're not just like I'm a stick figure, yes. and that's how I am. Like, because yeah. it, it, like, especially like almost any game character, like they're not gonna be, mm -hmm. like, unless they're like a guard, yeah, and they're intentionally <laughs> supposed to be like yeah. that. You know, they're they're gonna have more of a like you know kind of relaxed pose where all of your joints and things like that, and it doesn't even have to be like you know don't do that. Yeah. You know, even if it's just something you know like subtle like that. Mm -hmm. Or like bending your fingers yep. and things like that. Um, the other thing, and this kind of works with wedding, I give this a lot at weddings. Okay, yep. Um, men or women who are, like, they're trying to think and they're posing, and all they're thinking of is, what do I do with my hands? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how I am yeah, for yeah. anything. I'm like, so, what do I do? <laughs> one of the thing is, is like, when you're doing a casual pose, and you wouldn't necessarily do this a lot if someone were to ask you to do your picture and photography, but... If you have the one hand that's down and kind of out of the way, but you feel like you're paying too much attention to it, mm -hmm. give it a fist, squeeze it nice and hard, and then just let it go. Yep. And it makes it so that it's not like this or like this. It so, makes it so that it's it's nice. Yeah, so it does have that yeah. kind of curve to yeah. it. Okay, smart. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, that was like, I know, I know, like, even, even if you, even if you were to take one of those pieces, yeah. um, you know, that, that'll make a huge yeah. difference. Uh, I like three is kind of an easy number to remember. Yeah, so yeah. Um, no, that's funny. practice practice your facial yes. expressions. No dead hands. No dead hands and uh, and Being envision your pose. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. pretend you're Being actually. The character. Yeah. Yeah, and and I mean, but for some people that's very very hard. But I mean, for for like a lot of people that do like Wonder Woman or Superman, they just do that whole like yeah. this. That's all they do, and it's like, why don't you make it a little different? There, Superman yeah. has more than just. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. he has yep. more poses than that. It's just kind of, you have to think of it in a way of, like, I actually did some with Sarah Manila, which I think that's probably how you pronounce her name. Sorry, Sarah, if that's not how you pronounce your last <laughs> name. But she is, uh, she goes around, uh, cosplays a super. Yeah, she's going to be coming girl. on uh, a little bit later. Yeah. Yes. And I got her to even just lay on a flat surface and kind of do, like, your flying. And oh, you have to edit it yep. to make it look like she's actually flying. Yeah. Yep. But this is different than just being, like, the normal super girl yeah. who's just, like, you yeah. know what I mean? So it's all different. Don't do what people expect you to do. Well, you know what I mean? That's what I mean. Like that whole thing where it's like, if you don't want to do 
the number one thing, go fund go the secondary, the one, yeah. go for the tertiary. Well, it'll Everybody it'll has stick, more yeah, than one stand, pose. Yeah, yeah. Yes, they have the, their iconic pose. Yeah. But like, a lot of people, a lot of characters have way more than just one pose. You just gotta yeah. have to think more into it. And that's what I like about cosplayers, because I've worked with a couple yeah. of them, mm -hmm. is you... They always tell me that they have actually take almost a year just to make one cosplay <laughs> costume. And it's not just their costume that they're making, it's their whole everything. Yeah. Yeah. So when they go out into the real world, as mm -hmm. I would call it, they're ready and prepared yeah. for yeah. anything. So if someone could come off guard and be like, hey, I need to take a picture, and they could just instantly like that yeah. without yeah. even yeah. thinking yeah. about well, it. Well, a lot of poses and stuff like that are kind of transferable mm -hmm. depending on what you're going for yeah but uh like i know i know it's, like there's some crazy uh cosplayers that i follow that'll do like 16 co like 16 builds a year which which is crazy because yeah. i mean like i know like but for they, me that's people that get paid and that's, that's, yeah, that, yeah primarily that's yeah like that's their that's their job yeah um yeah like most like most yeah, I don't, yeah, that's... <laughs> I can even mention off a few, like, Nicole Marie Jean. She's, like, my all-time favorite cosplayer. Uh, she gets to travel the world. She gets paid to do what she loves, right, yeah. and be artistic. And so she's making cosplay. Like, literally, she wakes up and breathes oh cosplay. That's awesome. Breathe, till yes. the time she goes to bed, she even probably dreams of it, for all I know. Yeah. Yeah. I follow her on Instagram, Snapchat, yeah, Facebook, yeah, everything. Yeah. And this girl is just 100% cosplay. And it's just... It's amazing yeah. that, that people actually like, get to do, I do want their another dreams, excuse? you know, like for yeah. me, yeah, yeah. even like I have friends that are photographers that go to conventions and stuff like that, and mm -hmm. they say the same thing, it's like, it's unbelievable the people that you get to meet yeah. and work oh, with. Oh, absolutely. Like, it's unbelievable, because yeah. some of them are crazy, like, some you can tell are just beginning their cosplay mm -hmm. life, and like, I... Which is awesome, don't yeah. let like, some yeah. of the like, crazy ones... Defer Those are people you that have been from, working on it for years. Yeah, like yeah. don't don't def like don't let that discourage you because like that's a lot of time. That's hundreds and hundreds of hours. Like depending on some of the builds and yeah. stuff like that, yeah. going into that when they first start. Like, like the best thing that I can recommend is just even if it. just yeah, just do it. Like <laughs> do it. even yeah. if you know even and there's tons of different uh, like ways to cosplay. Like yeah. if you buy a store bought outfit, that's fine. Yeah. Because you're still like cosplaying yeah, as that, exactly. and that's doing yeah. what you can do. Not everybody has that artistic or creative <laughs> spark that can get into that. Yeah. And yeah, you can buy like better uh, costumes and stuff like that. But usually, like you know, most of the time you're gonna pay for the quality. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Like for me, I I used to cosplay. And my first year, I was like, what they call a noob at it all. So oh, I was course. buying store bought, but yeah. I was altering it a bit nice. to make it yep. more. No, I did, I did the same. And then after a while, I was, I only, my, uh, I only had the time. Do you to remember? <laughs> sorry to cut you off, but like uh, when I yeah. when I was first doing uh, uh, my dark my link. so my dark link, my yeah. first like dark link that I did, uh, it was for video games live. Was that like two thousand six? It was two thousand five. It was like one of the very first video games live ones. Uh, that was in Toronto. That came to Toronto. Yeah, it was in Toronto. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, JJ and our friend Michael, uh, they helped me build, uh, like, my arm guard, <laughs> and I ended up using, <laughs> it was awful, because I didn't research this at it all. Was just, like, it, like, it, it no, was amazing. No, it wasn't. No, no, no. It turned out okay. It turned out great. <laughs> so, I basically took, uh, like, a shin guard, like a soccer shin guard, uh, and then I took, um, I got this, like, uh, this, like, flexible pool hose, <laughs> and I cut that in half. And then I like, what did I like, hot glued on? I think I like you hot, hot glued, glue got like, it on. It was I, like hot glued it on, and I was doing the like the curves and everything like that. And then I put uh, I put a piece of like black fabric over it and just like layered it with glue and just like squished it in. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. Like so, like it didn't like it's one of those things where from ten feet away it looked great. Yeah. yeah. Two feet away looked like <laughs> shit. But that's but that's okay. Yeah, like yeah. because just, that that's a that's a learning curve. Not to mention if even if your costume is store bought or you made it and you think it looks Excuse crappy me. or whatever, just still rock it like you think it's a million oh, yeah. dollar production. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Right? Everybody everybody starts somewhere. Mm -hmm. You need to drink cuz I'm feeling like you're you're flat. It, it's like woo. And yeah, it, it's it's an angle. You uh, guys know but, I like to enjoy my beverage, not chug yes. it back like teenagers. Yes. But I'm, again, like, I gotta, you make me feel like I always got a nurse man. Well, Anyways, then I go super slow, Mo. Uh, so that was some tips for, for cosplayers. Uh, what about uh, other cosplay photographers? So I'll... Kind of the other end of the spectrum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to start 
off uh, by saying I don't actually go to conventions and take pictures of people. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Just because to you're me, more location shoots. Yeah. Yes. To me. For now, are you? Maybe. Do you think you're ever interested in if that? If I were to do a full-time uh, photographer, yeah, that's I feel is where I would be able to get a lot more clients, where I can mm -hmm. meet them, they get one shot type thing. Like, yeah, I get it. Yep. But um, my focus right now is getting a photographer, uh, getting cosplayer. a cosplayer yep. who's put like so much work into their costume, and they want to document their work. Mm. Yep. So we go out to location and we go and shoot for an hour, maybe two, maybe three. It was. It was. A dream. <laughs> it was. Kind of took a big sip the last time. It's okay. Um, it's so delicious. like uh, we go three hours. Sometimes we go four or five locations. Oh wow! Like, like that long. Eh? Oh yeah, yeah. But like once we're done, we're done. True. Yeah. And then they have that documented, and I've gone back out again with an, uh, with the same costume, but she's added more, and we've done less. Like extra, yeah. like different props? Exactly, or so different weapon. like okay. Uh, okay. Siri, um, I did one where she did her costume, it was amazing. Is that and the cosplayer? Yes. So the, the cosplayer is, uh, I'll, I'll give her a shout out on Instagram. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll link everything down yeah. below, and uh, yeah, definitely check it out. Like, especially local cosplayers. Yes. Like, uh, that's what I've been really, really getting into, is just like, local cosplayers, because like, <laughs> Those are, like, realistically, those are the people that you're probably going to see around, like, likely, especially yeah. in your local conventions. Yeah. And it's good, too, because most of the cosplay community, as long as you're not a total ass to them, mm -hmm. and, like, they have no problem giving advice. If you're like, hey, you know, I saw you did this really sweet helmet. Yeah. How did you even start that? They, yeah. they want to share. They want to help. Like, uh, my friend would... Well, it's a community. Help right? like me. You... A, that's what I love about conventions. Yeah. I remember the first time I bought a costume. I, I went as Chi. I didn't really know what I was getting into. Mm -hmm. uh, my friend was going as Chi, and she was like, how about we go as three Chi's? I'm like, sure, whatever. Perfect. I felt like a celebrity the entire day. Yeah. They were, that's... like, taking pictures of us. It was yep. amazing. That's kind of... Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. like, the cosplay high. Like, that's one exactly. thing that I love. Like, yeah. uh... But, the the one uh, actually I have a, a picture of my yeah, uh, yeah. My, my old cosplay group from Fan Expo in 2008 actually there we go um, and uh, like so I was Dark Link and then uh, the the other girls were uh, the Links from yeah. Four Swords Adventure so it's kind of kind of crossing games and stuff like that but yeah like you walk two steps and you have like a crowd of people yeah, yeah Be, like, especially when you're in a group I went as Caitlyn from League of Legends one time mm. yeah. and I swear to God I was like I, w I went on the Thursday mm -hmm. and the Thursday is one of the deadest days at Fan Expo one of the deaderish mm, days depends <laughs> what you're going for it really depends like for me I was just going there to scope out the merch to see what I wanted to get throughout the entire weekend yep and I got to the artist alley area and I had like Jillian photographers Alley. coming at Alley. me wanting yeah. to take pictures. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay. It's Make been, sure, yeah, if, it's sorry been, to, to cut you off. It, yeah, if you're if you're in Artist Alley and somebody wants to take a picture of you, go out of Artist Alley. Yeah, don't take I'm anything. sorry, it's, it's super crowded. It's super, a lot of the time, like, it's so densely packed. Well, I went yeah. onto the hall. Yeah, perfect, right? okay. And so they wanted photos and stuff like that. And it, when I did cosplay as Caitlyn, it's been years since I've cosplayed, so... Mm -hmm. I was a little bit shook up. I was like, oh my god, like I don't remember being this bad. <laughs> like I was like, okay, okay. So I'm like doing all these things and stuff like that. And uh, my friend Linus, uh, uh, I can't, I can't pronounce her name. Oh, Ragnarok. No, right? shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about Zin Zintana. No, something like that. I can't think. And she's even a Batman person. I can't think of her name. I want to call her Katana, but that's not blasphemy. Right. I know. You don't it's know terrible. how. That's okay. It's terrible. And so. Uh, she went as that, and then my other friend went as some, um, something else, I can't remember what it was, from an anime, and yeah. everyone knows I'm not an anime freak. <laughs> so, anyways, and I just was not expecting it, and the, but there were some photographers, we're gonna go back to your tips here, yeah. that yeah. were just really too forward, too in your face, too, and I had some that were really bossy, like, so bossy, you can, no. and I got to that point where they were telling me, like, do this, do this, is this, and this, and this, and I'm like, hey, you guys are taking a picture of me and my character. Why yeah. must I do what you want? Well, that's kind of the other end of the spectrum that I wanted to see if you had any advice on. Because at the end of the day, like, if you're in kind of that situation, not all photographers and not all cosplayers are... You know, like, yeah, you know, let's do that. Like, sometimes you'll catch them at, like, a bad moment where they're just, like, half of my prop, like, broke in half. Yeah. Or, you know, like, you had a big costume rip. You had it something happens. happen. Or you're just having a shitty day. Yeah. Like, sometimes, especially near the end of cons, like, the Sunday, like, even, like, you're exhausted. Like, yeah, especially if you have, like, he like, 
if especially if you have like heavy armor, heavy props, yeah. or yeah. even if it's just like a really intense, like kind of movement restricting it's hot costume, in, in the convention it's, center it's, too. Like it's yeah. hot, you're sweaty. So take it with a grain of salt. Always be nice. Don't be it's offended. Like Don't anybody. be offended. Don't be offended if somebody's like, you know what, I, I can't do this right now. Yep. Excuse me. Uh, you know, I'm I'm sorry. I would love to get your information. Uh, cause I, again, like the whole community aspect, but you can't always just say like, no, I'm okay. I like, I'm, I'm, I think I'm done for the day. Yeah. I, I think that's probably when I cosplayed, cosplayed, I would always make Sunday the day I didn't go to in cosplay. Yeah. And that'd be my day as just a normal day off. person yeah. to go buy my merch, my art, you know, my prints, all yeah. that stuff. But, um, there's been a couple, I've seen some cosplayers and I actually watched one and I had to step in because the photographer was getting very physical with the cosplayer and, and there is actually a thing you're not supposed to touch the cosplayer without their consent or even take a photo without cosplay their consent. is not consent exactly. i'm gonna say that a million times uh actually most conventions have like humongous Giant banners signs. like yeah. huge huge banners like at every single entrance out in the hall multiple different places where they're like cosplay is not consent like if you want to go up and like you know like give somebody a hug or you know like say like you know you're ask. amazing or yeah just ask yeah. be like hey can i take your picture most or you know like can like, i give yeah. you a hug most, most are but at the same time like if you have a really complex or really brittle armor if you had to like repair yeah. something yeah. sometimes you can just be like i would love to you know but i have like a seam that's yeah. like I'm, that's barely holding together Actually, so i have to say no but i can get a picture with you you know it's it's that kind of uh, it's that kind of thing but I'm going to tell you something real quick. So when I was we going to say we should probably get back to, to tips and stuff. <laughs> it's just one quick thing. Okay, so really So when I was Fan Expo last year, there was someone up as Pyramid Head, if you guys know who he is. Mm -hmm. And I he, had, I, I'm he was sure, like yeah. freaking nine feet tall, mm -hmm. got the biggest thing. And I, there, I was he there, was like, I saw that. He didn't want any pictures with anybody. He said, you can take my picture. Yep. But the only reason is, is because if his helmet was to fall off and injure someone or any of his exactly. props, yep. he doesn't want to be he responsible. He doesn't want to be liable, yeah. yep. So he literally was like, no, you know, I'll, I'll just let you guys I'll pose can, and you can take a picture exactly. but yeah mm -hmm. but, but see cosplayers and, are yeah. very good like that they don't yeah. want to hurt their fans in any yeah. way yeah. Yeah. so most of the time like i've had some people that had props and they said no 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 my props too sharp i don't want to yeah. like anything well that's you have super prop, rare because but, yeah, you can't you have, have sharp pro props well you have the prop check before you yeah. go to any convention yeah. and if the if the security or whatever believes that it's too dangerous to go yeah they won't, let it in. they won't let it which in. is smart like i i like yes it sucks but I agree with that 100%. Yep. I do. I, I agree with that 100%. <laughs> the only thing that sucks though is like if I wanted to go as Batman, but, I wouldn't be able to have my batarangs. But, at the, same, sure. but <laughs> at the same time, if you email them, if most cons, if you email them in advance and say, I'm coming as this character, this is my, this is my prop, here are all the pictures, here are the dimensions, what are your thoughts? Is this a, is this allowed? Can I meet beforehand with you to, uh, you know, see if this would work? M at least when I did that, because for a while I, I had a, like a solid metal sword, yeah. and for me I was able to bring it in, but it had to be zip tied closed, yeah. and I wasn't able to take it out. Yeah. So I knew for my next one, okay, I'm gonna get a wooden one, not have it sharp, exactly. and that way I can do like full on poses. Because yeah. yeah. I mean, the only pose I could really do was like, hey, here's my Hylian shield, yeah. yeah, and you know, like pretend to like be getting it. But again, that's what you what you work with. It was like, but. Sorry, I wanna yeah. I wanna <laughs> get back to, to tips because I'm I'm really yeah, interested. I'm just a from... big convention and cosplay enthusiast, so yeah. I kind of keep yeah. going. Well, we can talk about it all day. Yeah, but... it's so true. Yeah. No, so in regards to photographers, uh, uh, the first thing I was going to say mm -hmm. is you need to ask. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. It, it creates that respect. There's this really big stigmatism in the cosplay <coughs> uh, world or the cosplayers world where uh, the creeps, right? The people who, and like yeah. I've read horrible stories where this- Some are awful. Oh, where these mm -hmm. people go off with this photographer and it just ends bad. Yeah. yeah. And Always so, go with another person. Yes. Most cosplayers, especially if they have bigger ones, have handlers as well. Yes. Yeah. So it's not too bad. Always go with the yeah. second person, or, especially if you don't know the person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or stay somewhere that you're if, fully, yeah. like, if you're stepping outside in a the public convention, area. make sure there's lots of people around. Don't go somewhere yep. secluded. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, in regards to other tips for photographers, uh, angles. What, mm. Instead of just, like, shooting straight on, right, if they're crouching down, maybe you should get down go, and go yeah, up. Okay. It might yeah. look different. Up and down. Um, I mean, I'm... I to move large, around, yeah, basically. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Angles off to the left, off to the right. Angles change the picture 
A hundred percent. Oh, yeah. Well, and it also profiles their yep. their costume a lot better, yep. too, because there's, a, like, a lot of the time, like, back of outfits and stuff, super neglected. Yeah. <laughs> super neglected. I couldn't and agree more. <laughs> the, the heart, the, the shitty thing about that, too, is that just as much work goes into the back yep. as every other piece, yeah. for the most part. A lot so, of like, unless like you have that. a cape or something like that, and you're just like, I just need to finish it. Yeah. The cosplay rush is real. Yeah. I'm very, very familiar <laughs> so with that. Once yeah. May, or sorry, once May no, when you're hits. when you're like two weeks, especially if you do multiple conventions for the year. Yeah. Once you hit the like two weeks before, you're just like, fuck, I'm screwed. Just whatever, clap it all together. The the amount of people that I know <laughs> that like morning of are like finishing shit in yeah, yeah, in their yeah, hotel yeah, rooms yeah. or like on the way yeah. like i like when uh, when we went up there like on the way they were just like no man i can finish this i got like four <laughs> minutes in the car Let's it's like go this. through the drive like go through the drive through like yeah, i yeah. i got this i got this yeah. um so yeah so yeah, angles <laughs> I, I, we, I could <laughs> go I, like like, yeah, I know so it's angles, hard sometimes it is it is um uh, angles also uh, there's a uh, photographer uh, sorry there's <laughs> that was a bad overall over right here. <laughs> in the middle of that, I'm happy there was no casualties. No. Um, so, if you're wanting to become a photographer, research angles that flatter the people that you're taking pictures of. So, like, mm. I am a bit of a larger person. Okay. Um, shooting down up at me will not be flattering. Mm -hmm. Shooting down oh, okay. Okay, yeah. is extremely flattering to me. So, Think of selfies. Yes. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of selfies, I love but selfies. you're going to get a better like, angle hey! like that than you are, like, double chin. Exactly. You know? Everybody has a double chin when they like, go like that. And <laughs> going to double chins, yeah. uh, this is more like a portrait if uh, the cosplayer um, is more of like a nice portrait person. Mm -hmm. Try. You have to be very respectful, so going back to that, you have to build that rapport with the cosplayer. You can't be super angry and be like, yeah. go like this, right? Like, yeah. no, yeah. don't do that. Ask them to raise their arm a little higher mm -hmm. if you want to move. If they're not understanding, go up to them and say, hey, can I, can I show you? Yeah, can you? I, can I, you know, yeah. like, can I move your arm yeah. into this position? Yeah. Yeah. Asking but is awesome. And keep in oh. mind that cosplayers, they're there for the day and they're moving. They're moving. Every two minutes, they're going to get yep. stopped and ask for a picture. So keep that in mind. If you want ten minutes with them to justify their magnificent piece of art, yep. ask them, hey, Do you can have we meet minutes? at the end of the day, or can we or, meet? Yeah, okay, yeah. Here's my contact information. I would love to take some pictures for you. That's smart. So yeah, bring yeah. business. So like, if you so business cards are probably yeah. a, a good one. Like, yeah. uh, it, and I would kind of avoid like just like jotting your stuff down on like just like a random mm -hmm. scrap of paper because i know yeah. like stuff gets lost in the shuffle and i know yeah. i'm like what is like i don't know who this is yeah and so that, that's the unfortunate part yeah. but yeah having yeah. a business card is is always always really good and you can usually get them for like 10 bucks for like a hundred absolutely they're, yeah. they're the fairly <laughs> inexpensive that's free 500 yeah <laughs> anyways um so yeah no that's it so so kind of like knowing different angles yep. um depending on like body shape. flattering yep. on whom whomever um, when you were talking about the back, um, mm. the reason why I wouldn't necessarily go to the back at a convention is time frames. A absolutely. And, and that's, that's why that's... pulling them off to the side is good. Yeah, and saying like, let's yeah. do this at another time. Yeah. That's smart. Um, looking, so it's great when you're like, hey, can I take a picture here? But then you have like 50 million people behind. Yeah, um, like all shots. You can edit them out in a sense, can you? You can, you but it's can, a the button. Yeah, oh, it depends okay. on but how much. If you yeah. went and you took 500 pictures in that day, you better have a lot of time to edit them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I, exactly. I have a lot of time So, like, maybe bring them to a staircase that's not far where. Mm -hmm. So, something that's like maybe 20 feet away yeah, from the crowd. Yeah, or 10 mm -hmm. feet away. So, yeah. look for different locations uh, that's easily accessible. Scope out the area. Maybe before. Mm -hmm. uh, that's something that I do. If I'm going in as a photographer anywhere I go, I run around, I scope the place, and then I'm like, okay, this is a oh, cool so spot, this is a cool okay. spot, this is a cool spot. So you kind of do like a once around first. Uh -huh. Smart. So, that's that's yeah. actually very smart. Yeah. Yeah. So I try, then, I try yeah. I try and do that when I actually get into the expo, and then I'm just like, nope. I have like an hour left, and I'm <laughs> like not even halfway through. Yeah, the yeah. So yeah, so but, that, no, that's smart. that would be some of my... Cool. Yeah, that's uh, that, that's my some of my tips for uh, 
photographing at a convention. No, and and that's smart, yeah. and that's and that's kind of what we're what we're more mm -hmm. focusing on, like uh, like this episode. Because it's literally a week tomorrow. Yay. We Shit, yeah, like when it starts. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not going until Saturday, but it'll be I'm... it'll be a week when this video hopefully goes up. Uh, I'm hoping there's no technical issues, <laughs> like our like last last one. one. Mm -hmm. But um, cool. So uh, we're we're running short on time, but uh, I wanted to ask really really quick, um, what are your what's your all time favorite game, and sh briefly why? Okay, so I think I'll go with the why first. Okay. And it's just because I had so many great memories playing it mm -hmm. um, that it's at the top. Do I play it now? No. Okay. Okay. But um, Mario Party. Oh my which, God! <laughs> which now? Which that which, shit I, ends friendship. Which, which no Mario Kart. No Mario both Kart. Do. Uh, they they both, both. Okay, I'll give you that. And friendships, relationships, any. Which, which franchise around which, no. N64. Um, okay, so like, the, so like first few. Yeah. Okay. But I just remember like, let's go! We're gonna do it! Right? Like you're just so into it. Well, the like I, I remember uh, like when uh, when we rented uh, Mario Party 10. But I'm sorry, that oh one was god, awful. It was, it was bad. awful. Um, my my favorite Mario parties are probably seven and eight. I was gonna yeah. say eight. Yeah. Eight yeah. is those the are one. those yeah. are my favorite yeah. ones. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, um, so. yeah, that's a that's a good one, uh, especially for the wild. <laughs> Very different from our <laughs> game loving side. I, I still like oh, Mario Party, but there are lots of other games that I love. My game, is, I told him, and I told him what my favorite game was, and he thinks it's interesting because I'm like, it's oh, a Sims. I'm a Sims fanatic. Like I will play that for hours and hours. And hours. But the funny yeah. thing is, with Sims, you spend most of that time creating, creating your character, <laughs> and yeah. then it was actually playing. And yes. I'm gonna tell you right now, so, I have cheated on that game. So <laughs> really, really quickly, kind of segueing into that, and then uh, we should probably yeah. wrap up before we do. Um, the different poses and stuff. No, right. uh, what's um? Yeah, I know we still gotta do that. Uh, what? So kind of going off of that, what would be some ideal things that you, or what, what, are some, what are some of your favorite things about games in general? Like what kind of game design aspects do you like? So this is a very interesting question because for me, video games was never really huge in my life. Yep. I would play Super Smash Bros. Like I really focused towards Nintendo because they're mm -hmm. easy. You can pick okay. them up and play, right? Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Nintendo's um, my jam. But then I met my... Husband. husband. <laughs> and now uh, your PC gamer. PC <laughs> gaming is awesome! Wait, 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 wait. No, that's what that's when you gotta so do fist bump, that's when you gotta do the like <laughs> I was like, wait, what are we I was gonna go high five and then I went to fist and I was like, wait, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, Sorry, so, so that happened. So, anyway, so now I'm PC gaming. Okay. And I mean eventually when I have a family I plan on getting a Nintendo back in and mm -hmm. getting that going because I feel yep. like that's very child friendly. PC yep. gaming but, is not so no, much. No. <laughs> what I find hilarious with every single game that I have fallen in love with mm -hmm. on the PC is my husband comes up to me and he goes, Hey, we should play this game. And he shows Steam's me- Steam's on sale for two bucks. <laughs> yeah. That's how I live my no, life. <laughs> Steam's no, Steam, no, it, it's a hundred percent true. Like Steam, no. Steam sales are where life like if you life. if you want if you want like a ton of games and again, like this is like cheaper side of me yeah, coming yeah. out. Like, if you own a ton of games, those are the. You want to get something hilarious? Go. I'm actually I'm buying the original Roller Coaster Tycoon. Oh yeah! yeah. I'm so pumped! Nice. I'm so the one on the phone is so stupid. Oh. I was like, what is this? It has to be blocky. It has to be shitty. That oh. is Roller Coaster Tycoon. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so yeah, no. So Derek will show me. I remember the first time he brought Minecraft to me. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, Minecraft he <laughs> showed me this video and he's like, I don't know. Like, I mean, a lot of people are having fun with this game and I really think we could get into it. And like, this is when it was still an alpha. Yeah. Okay. And I'm like, really? What the hell is this? I like, <laughs> seriously? Minecraft. And then for the next six months, Friday night became let's order pizzas and, and play, play Minecraft. Minecraft all night long. Like, Minecraft I life, have though. played so much Minecraft, and I love that. That's that awesome. happened with Terraria, that happened with That's another one so really many games, and I, like, I try not to go <laughs> into games with a, a blind eye or anything, but the problem problem is, is I have to, I, I do photography almost full time, on yep. top of work full time during the summers, I have to uh, 
specifically play games that I can play with my husband. Mm -hmm. Don't you guys wish we were still kids again so we could oh, we yeah. have the time to play video games? Well, cheers you for that. <laughs> like, I realize that we're not here yet. <laughs> Alright, fair I enough. I wish I was the freaking younger to play video games. Yeah, so, so uh, right now, we kind of look for open world, survival. Yes. Okay. And have you played uh, The Walking Dead's Survival Instinct? No. Okay, so I'm a Walking Dead fan. Zombies are really... I love... I love so, the zombies walking. are overrated. Okay, now... They're overrated! Get out! Get out! <laughs> they're overrated! I get what you're saying, I'm, but it's only because The Walking Dead make them amazing! They're yeah. everywhere. I'm... I'm <laughs> Zombieland 2 comes That's all. That's all. Yeah. What cares? No. We actually have to wrap up. Yeah. Because uh, okay, I, I don't want to have like a humongously long episode. Because so far, the <laughs> episode lengths have been trending in length. If you like that, awesome. Because we could like we could go on and on for hours. Yeah. yeah. Um. But, uh, everything that we talked about, uh, I'll definitely be linking below. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe uh, if you like this. If you have any drink suggestions or drink themes, let us know. Because uh, they're super fun. I got tons lined up, and I want to start making a bunch of my own. Like right now, I'm just kind of like modif I'm just kind of like modifying like some ones that I found online. Yeah, that's but what I did. Um, yeah, let us know. It uh, it was super super fun having you on, JJ. Thank, thank you. you so much. Uh, again, uh, JJLozier.com, uh, JJ Lozier cosplay photography on, uh, Facebook. on Facebook. Or if you uh, can't find that, just find my actual page, JJ Lozier photography. L O S I E R. Yeah, loser with an I before the E. That's too hard. <laughs> You know we're all losers, it's okay. We used to be. We're now the cool people. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> better believe it. Alright, so with that, stay geeky guys. Yeah, I'm I'm all out. So all out. Okay. She's the slacker. Yeah, you gotta get on this. <laughs> Y'all can die now. Woo! So we're outside and JJ is going to let us know a couple different uh, cosplay poses and Kayla has the fantastic closet rod. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> so, go nuts. So, uh, one of the main poses with the sorry, one of the main poses with the sword will be kind of holding it over your shoulder. Exactly. And, yeah, yeah. So what we're gonna do is you always want to be with kind of like a three quarter angle, and then you kind of swing your shoulders this way, so that is shows more of your body to the camera, right? Yeah. The thing that's important, just like a bat. Keep the elbow up. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So then as you would swing it around, and this is where I'm, I'm saying, like, if you're going to do that action pose, mm -hmm. when you're doing the full swing around, be in the action. What are you attempting to do? Are you attempting to hit something? Are you attempting just to warn something away? Yeah. Right? So, like, as you swing, you want to try and do it slow because it gives it really good. Yeah, but you're also looking at the camera or away, wherever the photographer is instructing you to do. Okay. So then hopefully we'll get like something halfway through or at the beginning and end and that would work. So that's the first one. Okay. Uh, the other thing that I enjoy doing, sorry, the other thing that I enjoy <laughs> doing is uh, crouching. Okay. So this is where you get the different levels, right? So whenever I, I try and show what I'm doing as I'm doing right now mm -hmm. and they'll copy and then from there, <laughs> it's okay. Continue. No, I thought I'd stop. And then no, I'd you're good. No, go just keep going. Okay. Just keep going. So I would do, I would do what I want them to do, and then edit their pose just slightly if I needed to. So for, um, let, let's get rid of this. Okay. So not everything will have a sword. <laughs> so if we're fighting. I'm doing a lot of fighting poses because that's what a lot of us do. Yeah. Right? <laughs> when you get down, exactly, right? So I'm getting down to a crouching position and I'm putting my weight on the back leg and you'd want to protect your face. So what are you doing with your hands? You're protecting your face. Now, the problem with that is if you're actually protecting your <laughs> face, <laughs> the camera can't see you. So you kind of have to shift it around and maybe focus and see on the head or something might be coming. So whenever you're posing people, think about the story you're creating with the picture. And that goes with you uh, when you're posing as well. So here you might be like really angry where you're gonna come up and do a full punch in because there's something coming in, right? Mm -hmm. So if I were to photograph that, I might be on the ground in front 
legit right here and ask you to do a kind of like a get out of your squat, jump towards me, and punch towards me. Yeah. Okay. But I would have you do that. <laughs> so I would show you first, and then after that you would do it. So if I'm squatting down like this, and I wouldn't actually come out because that would be very, very bad fighting wise. You'd just yeah. waste a lot of energy. I would just come up a little bit and kind of get this and then go down if the photographer's right there. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So there's a couple of things. I have to squat um, in a while. <laughs> Fine. One of the last things, and this is super easy, um, it's when you're doing full poses. Mm -hmm. It's going to sound ridiculous, but when you tell people, roll your shoulders back, crane your neck up, and bring it forward a little, it creates the nice definition around the chin. So the difference is if I'm like, slouch, slouching is bad, but if I'm slouching, I just literally gain like 20 pounds. But yeah, <laughs> when I do this, like that's a world of difference. Yeah, it's a big difference. You yeah. can see it right so here. Like, <laughs> and then I come up, right? So that's Kinda the like basis. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the basis of all my pictures. Nice. Yeah. Wicked. Three tips. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.